hope you're doing well today. I wanted to take a moment and share with you um, a tip that a lot of people probably don't think about, um, but they can really drastically change your playing, okay? And that is your bridge, all right? So for a small investment, you know, usually it's 20 bucks or less for a bridge, you can drastically change what happens on the banjo, okay? So I've talked to you before about Johnny Cornbread, who makes these beautiful bridges. Um, but I want to talk to you about this one specifically because it is different than a standard bridge in two ways, okay? First of all, you can probably see that right away. It's got a raised fifth string. And that is really neat. Um, depending upon your action height, you might really benefit from having a raised fifth string. I love really low action. So having that raised fifth string makes it a lot easier for me to get under that fifth string. Um, so that's something to consider. Now, the second thing, and this one was huge for me, is this right here. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it for you. This is a standard spaced bridge. That's five eighths inches tall. That is standard spacing, okay? Now this is one of the spacings that Johnny does. He does, as far as I know, he does three different ones, but he probably does anything you want. But I hope that this is focusing in. I'll try to get a picture of it as well. But this is about 330 seconds narrower than the standard spaced one. And that, for me, makes a huge difference. So what it's doing is back here, it's bringing this in a little tighter, all the strings. For me, that's really good, and it really improves my accuracy and speed. Um, and then that raised fifth string, I love that as well. But I wanted to tell you about that real quick because it's important, and it's it's not doesn't cost you a lot of money to really change what happens on the banjo. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.